Watch each other's backs. What's up, guys? It's yeah, Mojo yeah. Siesta here, and today I'm going to be bringing you uh, a bunch of news today. Uh, four different topics. One of them is going to be about Uncharted. One of them is going to be about Microsoft uh, adding uh, new features to the Xbox One. Also, the policies that they're going to have regarding to uploading videos of a uh, certain. Uh, Microsoft uh, Xbox exclusive games most likely uh, owned by IPs that are going to be uh, restricting uh, certain titles and they're going to be making you put down a bunch of stuff in the description it's uh, oh, man, I, I hate policies <laughs> and uh, yeah let's jump right into it alright so uh, let me start off with Uncharted 4 right now now Naughty Dog has evaluated Uncharted 4 and pretty much evaluated the priorities it wants to put into having 60 frames per second. Now, basically, it, uh, this is an article on GameSpot. I'm sure you can find it anywhere. It has a quote here. We're going to do whatever it takes to make the game what we want to make. Uh, that, that is a, a quote from the director, Bruce Stanley, says. So, you know, this goes into, obviously, uh, they probably want to push the visuals. A lot of push a lot of detail they said that they want to increase the size of Uncharted instead of making it so narrow path and linear where the game kind of holds your hand but uh, it says although the developers are targeting 60 frames per second for its upcoming action adventure game Uncharted 4 at Thief's End the studio won't push won't push the PlayStation 4 game that far if it com if it means it's going to compromise the overall experience meaning that you know hey just kind of I guess this is what they're telling us, like, listen, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna just get rid of, like, you know, a lot of the detail and graphics or, you know, animations just for the sake of 60 frames per second. Now, normally, like, I'm on board for this, but later on in the article, it says we're actually above 30, but we locked it for the demo. Uh, I don't like that. Because the fact that they had to throw that out there, to me... I'm kind of getting bad signs that this game might be locked at 30. I don't want I don't want to play any next gen game locked at 30 to tell you the truth unless it really absolutely has to push the visuals or it's completely an open world game where it actually makes sense. But it really doesn't make sense to lock it at 30 at all. And if the PlayStation 4 if you're not able to get 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 4, then that's just ridiculous. I mean, you've been able to get 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 3 games, on a goddamn Game Boy. Like, there's no excuse to say that you really can't get 60 frames per second, especially when you Sony made it the holy grail, and especially when Naughty Dog came out there and pretty much confirmed that they want to make 60 frames per second 1080p native. So, like, just do what you gotta do, but to lock it at 30 is just completely ridiculous. It is unnecessary. Like, that is just completely... You're just being lazy by doing that. I, I think that's just a bunch of bullcrap, and I think that's a cop-out by Naughty Dog. If they really end up locking the game at 30 frames per second, which I have a feeling we might actually see, then... Shit, what kind of visuals are we going to be getting? Like, I, I better see some, like far advanced like something like drive club or the older 1886 where you're just like wow you cannot get the visuals on any other platform but i'm not happy about this uh i enjoyed playing the last of us at 60 frames per second i enjoyed playing the multiplayer in 60 frames per second i kept switching back and forth between 60 to 30 just to see what it was like and no nah, 30 frames is unacceptable like we like, come on, Naughty Dog. We believe in you. Get it at 60 frames per second. Uh, push the visuals. And you guys are getting a lot of funding. You know, obviously because you're Naughty Dog. So let's just let's just forget the whole 30 frames per second because I'm sick and tired of hearing developers talk about that and trying to make excuses for it. But that's just my opinion. You guys can obviously be more than welcome to let me know what you think about it. All right, so moving along from that, uh, I just want to talk about this topic. And if you guys don't know, Microsoft is laying down some pretty big play rules for content and creators such as YouTube, Twitch. Pretty much restricts you for certain games on what you have to put in the title. You know, obviously, like, if you're playing Halo, you cannot put down Halo, to my knowledge. 
Um, you also got to put down a, a bunch of crap in the description that I don't want to do, which means for all the for, for all the videos that I have of these certain games like Forza and Halo, where their IPs owned by Microsoft, then I have to go back there and fix all my videos, or there's a possibility it can be flagged. There's also certain things where, like, if I'm cursing too much, if I say something that might be offensive to somebody in my own videos. By the way, my fucking videos, there's a chance I could be flagged and, and, and get a strike and, and possibly lose my channel. Like, I know, I know, <laughs> my channel's not much right now, but still, like, I've been putting in a little bit of work towards this. I don't want to lose everything that I, you know, put my work into, and I sure as hell don't want to be censored by some billion dollar company, you know, they can, I'd tell them to go suck a dick, you know, this is just some bullshit. But anyways, let me resell uh, uh, part of the article, it says, Microsoft has revealed that you can make money from Xbox One and 360 footage, game footage on YouTube and Twitch, but there are certain rules that need to be observed. Minecraft has its own policies, which is good for, you know, people that want to, uh, you know, people that are big on Minecraft making their own videos, that's cool, so you guys are good on that. Minecraft have its own policies as well, it hasn't been changed yet. If you follow the if you follow the rules, your YouTube account won't receive a strike and you can keep making money off of Microsoft games. And I'm gonna read off some of the, the rules that they set for us, you know, because you know we all know Microsoft uh, tried pulling this shit back at E3 with all their rules. Let's see what they got in store for us. You can't monetize games content outside of Twitch and YouTube, for example, in paid apps or commercial films. You're not allowed to reverse engineer game assets. You can't sign your creations over exclusive distribution deals. Microsoft won't allow you to use game content if your product is, is pornographic, lewd, obscene, vulgar, discrimination, uh, sidebars, on the basis of race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, etc. Illegal hate speech promoting violence, drug use, or any illegal activity promoting crimes against humanity, genocide, or torture, or otherwise, or objectable. Now, that's not so bad. I mean, heck, we don't want to go around uh, saying, you know, speech and hate crimes and, you know, sp speaking, you know, promoting violence, but we all know how freaking sensitive the world is and how sensitive the community is. And if somebody's got to report me on something stupid, on some bullshit, then people are just... Then yeah, well, obviously Microsoft's going to deal with it. Because like, who the heck is this guy? We might as well just, you know, live up to our policy. You never know. And I don't know, so we'll see. I'm not done yet, by the way. <laughs> Creators will need to include copyright notice as supplied by Microsoft. Titles mustn't mislead users into thinking they're viewing official products. You have to check on third-party licenses for music and sound effects yourself. And then the article says, this is a fair, transparent policy. Tell us what you think below. Blah, blah, blah. No, this is some bullshit. Nobody else has these dumbass policies. I don't want to go back and rename my videos or put a bunch of bullcrap in the description. I don't want to do all that. I, I feel like I shouldn't have to. And I'm, I'm glad I don't have to do it on the PlayStation 4. Which we never know. Maybe Sony will end up pulling the same crap. Who knows. But anyways, this is just some like... This is... I mean, what what if I want to put down... Like, gameplay of Forza, what am I going to put down? If I want to put down gameplay of Halo, what am I supposed to put down? Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't know what to put down. Like, uh, uh, bang, bang, shoot, shoot laser sounds for Halo and am I supposed to you know like like Arsenal said you know am I supposed to put room room for freaking uh you know a Forza I mean, what am, isn't Killer Instinct an uh, owned IP from Microsoft what am I supposed to do punch punch bang bang pow pow I mean come on like seriously like what titles are we supposed to do how are we supposed to get our content out there and this is this may be your game but this is not your work. This is like this is you make money off of the people who buy these games anyways in the first place or else why else would you be here? It's not like you're just making these games just for the hell of it and just, you know, by all means just sharing it with the rest of the world, you know, out of common courtesy. It doesn't work like that. It works as like you're just the point is you're taking something away from people 
that really want to put their work into YouTube. And thank God I'm not making a living off of this, or I'd be, <laughs> I would already be screwed as it is. But this would just like make things even worse. Like God damn, if I try to make a uh, popular, if I wanted to be a PlayStation hater, I probably could make a lot of views that way, since that's like the common thing to do nowadays. And if I wanted to, you know, be a Microsoft lover, um, this would be a horrible, this would be a horrible day for me. And I'm surprised these other pro Xbox channels didn't talk about this. Like, you got them hyping up DX12, you got them freaking hyping up a Windows event, or talking about fucking Scream Ride and Ori and, and the Dumb Forest. You know what? Come on. Like, god damn, man. What is. <laughs> the thing about these policies is once you let one slip by you, they're all gonna start slipping by you. And. This policy wouldn't annoy me as much as if it didn't bother me that there might be a possibility that Microsoft might start pushing the envelope on policies, or maybe even Sony for that fact, you know, monkey see, monkey do. But, I mean, I just don't like policies. It's always like, it's always like when you're playing football, like, oh, you know, don't hit this guy. It's like in football, no helmet to helmet, right? The next thing you know, it's like, you want to protect the quarterback, and now you want to protect defenseless wide receivers. And it goes into like now it's like questionable calls. Now if you just hit a guy too hard in football, it's just a penalty just for the fuck of it. You know, it, it, this is how it all starts. I'm just saying policies are a bitch, and don't be surprised when the policies get more stricter and stricter for gamers these days, especially when they want to use content. Or let's say next thing you know. It starts tying into your own goddamn video games, your own discs, uh, DRM, who knows. I don't know the future. I'm not a, a, a goddamn wizard, and I sure as hell ain't a fortune teller, but I just have a feeling that this isn't the start, because it's already started, but it's been, it's going to start cooking up soon. Anyways, more positive, let's, let's get into some positiveness, first of all. Microsoft has a, or the Xbox One closes on a record-breaking holiday and looks ahead to 2015. So this is good. Sales for the Xbox One. Sales need to start getting rolling. Uh, it's about damn time. I remember way back when PlayStation was at 10 million, Microsoft was at like 6 million shipped. Now we're now if if I had to guess, I would just assume Microsoft is probably somewhere at. Uh, I'd say like 13, more than 13 million I would say, maybe 14 million, hopefully, and then more importantly, hopefully people aren't just buying the consoles, hopefully people start, so <clears throat> would start supporting some of these new IPs, uh, actually, you know, maybe Sunset, Over <laughs> Sunset Overdrive can get some goddamn support, or, uh, you know, when Scalebound comes out, that can get some support, you know, it's a breath of fresh air to the Xbox community, and I don't want to see them just playing Madden all the goddamn time, or Halo, or Call of Duty, it's like, there's more to gaming than that, especially, oh god, especially Madden, Some, we should boycott that bitch, Madden is, mmm, nah, waste of time, but anyways, Microsoft is looking to head into 2015 strong with some games coming out on quarter three, as well as some more updates and features, which I'm going to talk about real quick right now, now on the mobile PC mag, Xbox uh, <clears throat> Game Hubs expected for Xbox One in the February update. Now, it says that Microsoft is adding what's called Game Hubs to Live, which allows you to access highlighting a game on a console uh, re you know, via recently. Playlists, pins, standard games, app listings, all that. Pressing the menu button on your controller and selecting the new quote-unquote view game HUD option, end quote, in a quote again, every Xbox One game will have this hub where you can see which of your friends are playing a game, compete with your friends on the game leaderboards, dive into the coolest game clips and game broadcasts, and follow the game's VIPs and top players. This feature is freaking awesome. Uh, I hope it gets used a lot and I hope it becomes a big thing and I really hope that Sony can follow this. Uh, maybe the PlayStation will get an awesome feature like this that, you know, PlayStation should be added, stuff like that. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch another one of my videos. And last but not least, cheers to you guys.